Welcome to the Shakedown Sound series. In this series, we're going to share with you envelope filters by some of our favorite manufacturers. Join us on this long, strange trip. Today, that shakedown sound is being brought to you by the Earthquaker Devices Spatial Delivery. But before we dive into this pedal, I'd like to ask you to consider subscribing to the channel, clicking on the notification bell. Your interaction with us helps us interact with great people in the industry like Earthquaker Devices that we got this via Zounds. We've done a lot of EQD pedals before. Jamie Stillman and his group have been great to us. Yeah. We were able to get this in through Zounds. We've done some interviews with Jamie and mm -hmm. so too. And then the whole speak speaker cranker special cranker thing, the whole lecture series uh, he was helpful with. Uh, and if you haven't seen that interview in the premiere of the lecture series, he's yeah. in that. So anyway, enough about that. I think he did. I think he did a uh, twenty-one conversations or I whatever. We've, Nineteen we've conversations. Yeah, we interviewed him twice. I think. Yeah. So anyway, spatial delivery envelope filter. Uh, we typically always jump right into these with sounds from the Do Not Man. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed the Michael Dolan custom. Um, what, what did he say? This was number four. It was low in the numbers or rare. Yeah, well, it was like oh, one of the first ones right. he made after he left uh, Olympic. So, anyway, here we go. Uh, sounds from Judah, man. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I like it. And we always say that that you know that's that sounds with Judah Man is, is subjective for sure. But just in all of the envelope filters I've sat next to, this one has great lows and the highs are still there when you attack and upstrum. Mm -hmm. It sounded great. That's where you want it. Yeah. It, it, so if sounds from the Judah Man is the sound that I like, mm -hmm. and maybe less the actual sound from the Judah Man, <laughs> and what I go for when I go for an envelope filter sound, it's hitting on all cylinders. Mm -hmm. It really is, and it, you know. I don't always feel that way. Right. I mean, some of them sound great. Mm -hmm. Just that, that's pretty much it for me. Like when you can hit a little, like that one, Upstream, right? Yeah. Like kind of pause and hit a hard hub stroke and you hear those highs peak out. Uh, if you're doing like some kind of rhythm underneath of somebody else with chords and stuff, that's that kind of spank that you want. I, It's cool. Right. Yeah. Right off, get right out of the, right out of the gates. Mm -hmm. Super cool. All right. So, I wonder if my wife playing with the dog will shine through <laughs> onto the... Oh, you would have already seen the Sir Charleston in the intro, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's running around. So let's get in the... We'll just go through speak the features really quick. Turn some knobs and check it out from there. Because this one actually is set up a little differently. 
Uh, the first time I plugged it in, I wasn't sure what was going on. Then once I realized what was going on, I'm like, wow, this is super simple to set up. Which so uh, is that star number two, right? So <laughs> um, you have a mode toggle. The toggle goes between upward sweep, downward sweep, and then it does have the sample and hold setting, which a lot of people really like. And right now it is in the upward sweep, which you heard on Sounds of Dude on Man, and with the tiger in the in the front. And also, I'm going to say it. The Tiger has strange pickups. They're really hot. Jerry had really hot pickups. Mm -hmm. And we have struggled every time we've used that guitar into an envelope filter into the 22 watt amp to get a sound that I was like, yeah, I like that a lot. I've got cool sounds, but maybe not the sound I'm mentally looking for. This one sounds the best with the Tiger so far. Mm -hmm. It's been the easiest to, to dial something up. So, all right. So we got the toggle. Then we go to range. Range just just think of this as a sensitivity knob. Uh, all the way to the left, you're not going to hear any envelope filter as you roll to the right. The you're going to have to hit it. All the way to the left, you're not going to hear anything. You have to hit it super hard to hear anything. The farther right you go, it's going to be the all filter harder, all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the less hard you have to hit it, if that makes sense. Um, range. Adjusts this. Oh, I said sensitivity, but then when you go to a sample and hold, that becomes speed. And we'll show that. Uh, filter. Let's skip filter for now. Residence. I'm just going to read you what they have in the book. This is the filter feedback control. It adds more body and ring to the filter voice. When we get to that, I think that will make more sense. I've heard interesting ways for people to describe this, and none of them make any real sense until you hear it, I think. You want to make a new zap stinger? Yeah. <laughs> it's like somebody, yeah, somebody <laughs> described it as adding more zap. To the maybe okay whatever um so the filter knob this is really interesting normally an envelope filter would have a switch to go between low pass band pass and high pass mm -hmm. so in low pass you're letting the low frequencies pass through high pass you're letting the high frequencies pass through and then band pass you're kind of setting where that frequency is which the only thing i don't 100% understand. If you put that knob in the middle and it's in band pass, you mm -hmm. don't have another knob where you get to, to manipulate it yeah. to pick the frequencies. I'm not sure how that works, but anyway. I think it's really cool. You'll notice in the first clip, the clip of the Michael Dolan, we had it all the way to the mm -hmm. right, which is all the way to low pass. Um, anyway. I'm going to give it a clean tone and then we'll do Yes, here's it. our clean tone. Our uh, Silver Sky SE through the Tyler JT22. Position two because it's a S type guitar. All right, so I think how do you want to let's let's do the resonance knob first. So I'm gonna turn that all the way. We're gonna kind of leave it where we had it with the Michael Dolan. I'll turn that all the way to the left. This is gonna be a big strum and hold so we can hear what it does to the envelope filter. And we'll just move it a couple times so you can kind of hear how that affects the zap. Wow. <laughs> Hmm. I was expecting that it would take longer, but yeah. And I'm assuming they're tripping pretty good. These are, you know, not the hottest output pickups, but so let's do the sensitivity knob next. We'll turn it all the way down, and then we'll um, we'll see. Whoops! How about I turn my volume knob up? And so 
just as, on a, as an aside, when you're setting one of these up, I like to go to that sensitivity knob and start rolling it up where like kind of medium player playing is starting to trip it. Mm-hmm. So then if I play softer, it doesn't. And if I play really hard. Right. So like we've, we moved this back a little bit. You might need to play a little bit, see if we can find it. But. <laughs> It's a little higher. Maybe do a little bump, just a smidge more. Or do you think? up or down? Up just a little, but maybe there. I don't know, maybe back down where you had it. You know they sound good when they make you want to keep just right. noodling with them. Um, let's look at, uh, what are they calling it? The uh, filter knob. So right now it's all the way to the left, so we're in the band, the, the low pass filter. I'm going to spin that. I'll spin it around kind of slow so you can, because remember this knob, what's cool about it is it's allowing you to blend between the different filters. So that's pretty cool too. So we're going to be blending between this and the band pass. We'll get to the band pass and then start blending in the high pass. does it gets very am radio ish radio uh i'm gonna roll all the way back down now let's switch it over to the down sweep and i'm gonna roll why it's in the down sweep i'm gonna roll that again too so we can all right yeah. I have to ask, do you feel like I do? <clears throat> suggested settings? I, I, yeah, I'm not yeah. sure we've had another envelope filter with suggested settings. Um, maybe, maybe not. If not, yeah. not too many. Here's your sassy as funk. Oh, boy. All right. Uh <laughs> And then a high pass or a down sweep, which is almost exactly the same, almost. <laughs> um, this is called Neptune. <laughs> Thank you. 
How about a slow space song? So now we're going to get into the other feature that we haven't talked about at all, which right. is the sample and hold setting. And so this will give you a good idea what that does. And then we have one other sample setting, and this is the modular synthesizer. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're better you than me. Um, again, sample and hold. I heard I heard a couple other people talk about that that you know you can get the rate but maybe if someone had said if they had a tap and you could see where that was. Yeah. Because it takes a second to hit it. And then being that's the first time we explored that, I wasn't sure when I hit it how many things it did. The first time we hit it, it went through like, you know, three or four steps and back up. That one was just kind of waiting for me to hit another chord. Yeah, it's um, pretty wild though. Yeah, and then, I mean, yeah. We're not going to initially do it at the moment, but it'd be interesting with some of those funky settings if you added a little drive to it or something like that. and. Could do one or two notes that would just go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I don't know. Sounds good, though. Yeah. What if we hit that same setting right there with the drive pedal, is what you're saying? It'd be scary. I, I wasn't necessarily trying to make you set that up, but I was just curious to know what... Well, there might be a little pause here. It might be good. <laughs> So that's what it sounded like with the drive pedal. Uh, once Pat said it, we had to try it out. And then after he tried it out, we both played around with it for a little bit because it's pretty unique and interesting. There is one other feature that we need to tell you about, and that is the flexi switch technology in the switch. If you tap it and release it, it's on. If you tap it again and release it, it's off. But they've built into some of the other pedals the ability just to stomp on the switch and hold it. As long as you hold it, the pedal will be on and we take your foot off. It would go off. That would look a little something like, yeah, still would drive, something like this. <laughs> There's the end of your anthemic song. Right, the big song. <laughs> Big chord at the end, mm -hmm. smash the switch. <laughs> so it's cool. We, you know, they, they have a lot of creative artists that put a lot of creativity into their pedals. That's, that's a cool feature. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Mm -hmm. We got an up sweep, a down sweep, sample and hold. You can do anywhere from a low pass, band pass, high pass filter, sensitivity knob, and a way to control the resonance. It's really, it's really cool. Uh, final thoughts. I love it. Uh, I'm still new on the 
envelope filter journey and sometimes they can get a little frustrating because the the knobs are so interconnected if you will that you turn one and it totally changes something else this one was pretty easy to get to places and um it had warm sound for, for through it even when you went am radio that's the best way i can describe it it wasn't ear darty it was really it just felt like a really creative inspiring pedal mm -hmm. you made that comment when i kept noodling like well obviously it's fun if we continue to play and that's what that pedal did and i, I liked it yeah, even when I was doing sounds from Dude Man, it was like I I think I played some of them a little longer. <laughs> like the middle one, I hit that B minor, mm -hmm. and I had to play it a little bit longer so I could do it again because it sounded cool. Yeah, it, it's uh, my two cents on it is there's a lot of sounds with the suggested settings we showed you, and then just rolling through the knobs, the tons of sounds here tonight. But it doesn't stop there. I don't think these knobs are interactive. They on all envelope filters, turning one knob kind of does something to another knob, whatever. You, uh, because of that, there's probably a lot more sounds in here right. than we showed you in the video. So, uh, really cool pedal, really nicely done, uh, Earthquaker, um, which is no surprise because the other Earthquaker pedals we've had mm -hmm. have all been really nicely done. So, I think with that, mm -hmm. yeah. Is that it? I think that's it. Unless there's that's your cue then. Oh, that's my cue. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you get I give the tagline. I thought you're gonna give the re. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess there's. Well, we always take a moment to thank everybody for watching, and he was my fault. <laughs> thank you for watching. Thanks for hitting the, the subscribe button if you do, and like button, the notification bell, all that jazz. Because whenever you interact with the show, like Pat said in the beginning, that helps us reach out and interact with other people. And get cool stuff in to share with you and to add to the series and things like that. So we really appreciate that. And with that, here, there we go. And with that. <laughs> That's the cue old man was looking for. With that, I'm PJ on behalf of The Beard. Reminding you, no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. Yeah, 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 yeah.